Hey everyone, Brett from Vapor Nation, back today with another juice review, and I know I said in my last video, which most of you probably haven't seen it, but that I was going to be doing a juice review on one of my favorite juices I've ever tried, and that is Vape Attic Juice, Juices, Bonfire, I don't know if you guys can see that, there it is, now this juice is the very first juice since I started vaping that I was addicted to. I wouldn't say addicted, but I wanted more of it. <laughs> and I never actually bought a bottle until just a couple weeks ago I finally bought, found some. They were out of stock everywhere, and when I finally found them, I bought about six bottles of this. And this is my last bottle right here. So anyways, I got this off of vapaholics or vapaholics is how they spell it i'll put a link down in the description they were really good prices they have a lot of premium juice in there um everywhere i've seen this it's about 13 you know 12.99 to 13.99 for a bottle they had it for ten dollars even not 10.99 ten dollars even and it comes in zero six twelve and eighteen the bottles include, obviously, the label, the name, the nick level, which is just marked with Sharpie, the expiration date, um, and, of course, ingredients, and a little warning to keep say, that says keep away from children. It's in a plastic bottle. Obviously, being plastic, it's got the child-proof cap on it which I love I don't live with children so I don't have to worry about it but I still think that every company should go buy that just because you know most people probably have kids around anyway so we'll get into the juice review it's bonfire which is a pomegranate strawberry um, the PGVG is unknown I haven't been able to find it anywhere it doesn't come in different variations it's just what it is um, from vaping on it I want to assume it's like a 50 50 maybe even a 60% uh, VG somewhere around there you know as I got that on the still air and the copper nemesis clone actually sterile still air clone too with a 0.2 build just two little 24 gauge four wraps each and I'm gonna give it a vape Try to describe it. I've been vaping on it so much, it's kind of hard to describe now, but. It's still fire. Why are you not firing for me? And my mech mods have been having me, giving me all kinds of problems lately. It'll fire one minute, the next minute, it just does this. It's time to get a new mod. I'm probably going to have to remake this video if I can't get this to work. And I don't know how to cut this out. So, sorry guys, if you're watching. I will go ahead and say this is definitely a great vape. It's an all day vape. Like I said, I've been vaping on it all day, so I don't really need to take a vape to explain it. Um, definitely taste the strawberry. Pomegranate is an interesting flavor for me because, you know, I only get it, eat pomegranate around this time of the year, which I normally get like one a year. So, um, I can't really how accurate the pomegranate is um, but it is a damn good babe man this is just not working for me today I just took everything out and cleaned it up too <laughs> anyways I'll put a link down in the description where you can get this and I actually just got a second order from Vapaholics today. Bunch of juices. I really did like what I got from them. Um, they shipped. I can't remember now. It was a couple weeks ago when I got that one. But the day that it shipped, it took them two days to get here. Now, I was hoping, thinking that's how it was going to be every time. This time it took four days, so... It's a variation of when it'll ship. I guess it just depends on the shipping, not really them. And then again, they're also in 
California, but they always ship the day after I purchase it, which I, you know, I normally purchase at like eight o'clock at night, so I don't expect them to ship it the same day. I also got this one too from them, you know, which is California Blues, just to try it out, which is a blueberry cheesecake, but I'm kind of afraid to try it. Um, they did ship, I don't know, I didn't check my receipt to see if I accidentally put zero milligram. I might have accidentally did that myself, but they did send me a zero milligram instead of six. And the one I did get from them, which was nine different bottles, all of them were the correct uh, PG or nicotine. But the expiration date, which is probably backwards and really hard to read, says one, or date of birth says 114. And the expiration date, I believe, is around six months. So that means this is about four months past expiration, unless that's supposed to be a seven. But looks like a one to me. So took a couple of vapes on it. I saw that and I. It's, it's been sitting there for a while now. And it looks like I have nothing to fucking make for you guys today. Because <laughs> my neck mod does not want to work. And my box mod is broken. And yeah, it's when you buy clones. But I will be getting an authentic mod. I'm not going to say what or from where. Still waiting for it to be released. But, I guess since I can't vape this for you guys, it's turned out to be a horrible video. Alright, anyways, I'll just kind of go over what I'm going to be reviewing. Um, so far, I've only tried five of the flavors. Um, two of them? I'm pretty sure two of them are in the fridge. Because they're gonna actually, you know, three of them are in the fridge steeping. Um, one of them was really good. Um, that's in the fridge steeping. The other two were all right, but they're also a mix of like four different creams or uh, cream and strawberry. And I just think that they need steep for a little bit before they really show. But anyways, I also tried this Uncle Jack. You'll definitely be seeing a review of this, the Honeydew. Definitely another all day vape for me. Um, not going to review that right now, but just showing you guys what's coming up. Um, this one, I don't even know how to pronounce their name. It's all in, like, almost Japanese, kind of. I'm sure you guys have seen this line of juice before. Um, Into the Dragon, another really good vape. Um, I got this one. I don't even know what this is. WTM... Junkie Juice, Ultimate E-Liquid, oh, it's Watermelon. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a Watermelon Jolly Rancher, that one will be coming up soon. Um, ben Johnson, Snickle Fritz, once again, you know, like I said in, in our intro, we'll be reviewing everything, whether it's good or bad, so I got it, you guys will see a review on it, so you'll know whether to buy it or not. Um, this is from, I think it's Crown Vapors or something, or CR Vapors. Clancy Royal Vapors Sapphire Custard, it's a blueberry custard. That one you guys will see, um, here's another one by, I can't even read that. Um, something Gray Clouds, Cool Gray Clouds, I think. This one is True Blues, I'm excited to try this, Blue Raspberry. I've been always wanting a blue raspberry vape, and I hope this lives up too. One of these days. This one's got this one in the fridge. One's a craft uh, strawberry custard. I can't remember what they called it. Um, another one is, I think it's Cutwood uh, Unicorn Milk. And the other one, I can't remember. It's a four creams mixed together. So you guys will be seeing all those reviews coming up soon. Uh, might kind of jumble some of them together and this video is getting long already so sorry I couldn't get my vape to work hopefully once I turn this off I can because I need some nicotine anyways till next time I'll see you guys later and remember vapeholics try this if you're looking for an all-day vape especially if you like strawberries or pomegranates or mixed together try this juice right here 10 bucks you can't go wrong till next time have a good day